What do you say we deliver some packages, brother? Let's do it. Welcome to a random video of Death Stranding, the director's cut on PlayStation 5. We're going to take on a premium delivery from the paleontologist to the Evo Devo biologist. And yeah, just load it all on there. Mm. A nice tower of crap on your back. Sam Porter Bridges. He doesn't give a damn about anything. I make deliveries. That's all. I don't want to hear it. My name is Sam Porter Bridges. Well, yeah, I'm near the end of this game in the mountain region. And I've been having a lot of fun placing these zip lines, which I think are a director's cut exclusive thing. But I want to see more games have stuff like this, because they're so cool. Just the idea of being on rails and fast motion. So Traversky here, another online player, placed this one, but it didn't link up to anything. So I had to build one right here. This is so cool, man. I also upgraded this one so it can reach a distance of 350 meters, and you can see which one it's gonna chain to next, right under the rainbow. And obviously, if you didn't have to access to this, you would have to hike your sorry butt up all this stuff. Which, in order to even set up the array of zip lines you have to do, which is kind of a satisfying feat in itself. But the reward of just getting to do this is awesome, too. But you're telling me, out of the millions of players that play this game, there aren't a million people who thought to put a zip line right here? I'm very curious how it decides to populate other players' structures. Because obviously it can't put everybody's there, that would be ridiculous. And it would overlap, even. So yeah, I had to put that zip line there and this little timefall mushroom, which... Cures the cargo damage that may have resulted from rainfall or snowfall. That's gonna be an easy S rank. That wasn't even like two minutes. But I've got some other zipline arrays that I've taken a lot of time to set up. So I'll show some of those too, because I don't know, it's just really cool connecting all the mountain regions with ziplines. This will more than suffice. Thank you for going to the trouble. Thank you for dressing like a flight attendant. No, I don't know, I kind of look like that. So yeah, the results, whatever, it's probably gonna be an S rank. Oh, it's actually gonna boost her to level three, probably, which might mean a reward of boxes. Yes. Oh yeah, more bandwidth. That means more zip lines, more materials to upgrade those zip lines. That's good stuff, man. That's, that's what I'm excited about right now. Skilled courier. Yeah, people have been liking my roads in the prior region. I, uh, set this aside for you, thinking you might like it. Do you have room to carry it? Is it a box? Oh, heck yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, that's actually perfect, man. That's the exact amount of chemicals needed to upgrade a zipline to tier two. But for now, let's just put it in the private locker and think about what we want to do next. Well, research calls. Okay, I just took on two orders here at the weather station. We're going back to the roboticist and then to the main mountain knot city. I rode a motorcycle down here because my zip line structure from the roboticist was actually not convenient. I forgot I did this. This particular array of zip lines was more designed for this coming from the weather station all the way up this crazy mountain. It even looks like a ski lift array as you look up the mountain there. Nobody's like this one either. Come on. But see, that's the thing. This one might populate, but the other ones don't. And then it doesn't connect to anything. So who would like that? Well, here we go. In my particular game, it's all connected. It's even better than a vehicle. You can't get up here that fast in a motorcycle. It just looks and sounds so cool. Ah, oh, crap, I stopped there? 
This was one of the earlier setups I placed down, so maybe I didn't fully finish it. Yeah, the roboticist is over there. Well, crap. See, that was the problem going to the weather station. Okay, we're going to Mountain Knot City. What the heck is this? Oh, the BTs. Grab some medals, why not? I don't know where the zip line I placed to fix that whole tumbling issue went, but there's this other one here now. And I just lost my anti-BT handgun. It got ruined from the snow. Well, this is perfect. Okay, this connects to one that I built right in BT territory earlier. Look at how awesome the weather looks, the dark sky. So I placed this one here, specifically so it would connect to this other player's one here. And then this one connects to yet another player's down at the bottom of where we're going, the base at the city. So this is a huge mountain, man. And it's full of bad guys and stuff. That's probably the most satisfying one yet. That one is just super long and uh, just like that. No hiking required. Oh jeez. Still gotta account for momentum sometimes though. Oh yeah. Yeah, see the problem, I actually started to do a let's play of this game and I forgot, I didn't take into account that it's like a 300 hour game if you really take your time with it and have fun with it. I've, I've been shirking all my obligations and wasting my life playing this game this whole week. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot of copyrighted music, too. But I was finding my way, I had a good way of working around that, actually. But, yeah, it's just, I, don't, I can't do two-hour episodes and fill that time with commentary. I don't have anything to say. For literally, it's gonna, it would be like an 80 part series, if not longer, each video two hours long. All right, let's do one more. We're doing two orders here to the photographer and the mountaineer. The mountaineer actually comes first. I borrowed somebody's bike. This array of zip lines is probably my favorite that I've been messing with. Somebody put a really cool jump ramp here too. Maybe on a return trip we'll jump the bike, I don't know. Because we're going way far away from this location. But it's not going to be that long of an ordeal because it's all connected via zipline thanks to other players and the ones I put in between to finish the line, basically. So it starts with this one. Goes up to this basic one and then you like choose your destination from here. Whether you want to go more towards the roboticist or where we're actually headed. But look at the view, man. This hike sucked. I did this whole hike up this mountain before I had the all-terrain skeleton, and there were BTs everywhere to avoid. Like, I'm not even joking. It took about an hour from the base of that mountain in real time to get to the top of where I was trying to go. All right, this one I built right here on top. This is where I took that screenshot before I built this zip line. There was an awesome story-based storm happening, and I took a really cool screenshot of the storm cloud, the supercell, before I put the zip line here. Got 
my deteriorating ladder as well. The trouble is you gotta place these things kinda high in order for them to connect, because if there's any obstacle obstructing the path to the next one, it won't work. So that means having to deal with this sometimes. Or like that one that just plopped us down to our death. Thank you, Magic Mushroom. Isn't that the name of a pizza place? But wait, the best is yet to come, the photographer one. There's more I want to do, too. I want to connect it to the major city that's down at the base of the mountain. By all the roads. It's doable, too. I know it is. Thanks for dropping by. It sure is good to see you. That's great, sir. They all say the same standard thing. Like, my gosh, you got it here in one piece. And by the way, I got you a little something. It's not much, but... If it makes your life easier. What is that? Oh, yeah, okay. Climbing anchors. That would be good. But we have zip lines, man. So we'll just put that in the private locker, too, for now. I gotta remember this guy has a lot of that, though. You, just say the word. Because I have yet to beat the game, and I know it's very mountain-heavy. Let's see, does this guy have anything for the photographer since we're heading that way? No. I know, if you've never played this, you have no idea. I'm just looking at the map, but... Alright, let's do this to the photographer. The coolest array of zip lines that I worked painstakingly hard to connect. For about, like, an hour and a half or something crazy. Yeah, we just gotta get back up to this one, though. That's the thing. Because this is not easily traversed terrain. the climb prompt. It's not happening. Oh, jeez. Oh, all right. Well, steady now. Let's just go hide under the mushroom and think about our decisions here. <laughs> There's got to be an easier way. That's where we're going. I guess off to the right, maybe? Still learning. I did recently get a game over. I was carrying an antimatter bomb. Because, you know, you give that, that to a guy and have it strap it on his back in a snowstorm ridden mountain. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, I fell down the whole mountain and the bomb exploded. Alright, here we go. From here, connect to a different zip line. Notice we're leaving the snow caps and going into more foresty mountains. None of these have likes, man. It upsets me. Uh, where do I go from here? I don't remember. No, that connects back up. That's right. I guess it is that far away one. But yeah, see, in my game, I've placed all of these, so they're all connected, but... Maybe only one or two would populate in somebody else's game. Oh, this one has a few. So I guess this one popped up for somebody. But whether or not it connected the way that it does here... Look at all that crap down there that other people built. So I could go down there if I wanted to take on the mule camp. But this is the one that I built. Is this where the BTs are? No, I think it's the next one. So we're crossing a whole river and everything. Yeah, this is the one. Where we could connect to the base if we wanted to. And go take on an enemy camp. Or this one that I built right past the BTs that populate in this, like, dusty part. Oh, hey, they completed that road. That wasn't finished when I was playing earlier. the 
BT warning. You don't see them when you're on here, though. This one has zero likes, too. Well, look at you can't tell me that that's not likable. How beautifully we just went from the top of that mountain to this very obscure base of the mountain in this little photographer's hut. So I've wasted so much time in between progressing the main story. Earlier it was connecting all the roads, but now it's just been doing stupid orders with zip lines. But anyway, I, that's the gist of it. We don't have to do any more now. Close to four stars here. Uh, look, uh, it's kind of pathetic, but I got you a little something. I understand if you don't want it, of course. Oh, what is, oh, resins, they're garbage. Ceramics and metals are good for the roads and uh, chemicals and alloys good for the zip lines. Well, anyway, there you go. That's a taste of zip lines and Death Stranding, the director's cut. I don't know that I'll ever do a full Let's Play series of this game because it would take an entire year to finish, probably. And, uh, yeah. I don't know. But I hope you enjoyed it. This region is huge. I might go back to finishing all these roads. I don't know. But I hope you got something out of this random one-off. And I'll see you around. Take care.